Hi, we're C.Dev. We're a B2B data infrastructure layer that sits between a company's data systems and LLM applications. The use cases that we focused on are workflow automation in B2B fintech, and the pain we solve is allowing LLM applications to access data across siloed platforms. So who are we? We're us three co-founders. We've worked together for over 10 years. I met Vladimir while we were both doing our PhD in applied maths at Oxford, and I've been working with Matt in B2B fintech since 2018. Our one-liners are scientific innovation and fintech on my end, product and engineering and fintech on Matt's end, and software development and financial modeling on Vladimir's end. I think it's fair to say that it's evident to everybody here that the quality of a data system ultimately depends on the quality of the data and data model that underpin it. This is all the more true with LLM applications, where ambitions and use cases go beyond analysis towards action and automation. Bonkers? Okay. Our approach to solving this is threefold. One, we strongly believe that prioritizing a data model is necessary for effective automation across siloed systems. We're building one for vertical use cases. Two, we use graphs to relate the concepts and relationships in our data model, which we then link to customer data, for example, their CRM. Graphs offer flexibility, which is key, and allow us to go beyond more traditional RAG and text to vec embeddings when it comes to information retrieval. Three, to access customer data across siloed systems, we build what we call a hybrid query engine, which acts as an interface between LLM apps and data systems. It can handle heterogeneity at the level of the query and the data systems, optimally routing between the two. Um, so let's jump in a bit more detail into uh, a system that we're building for one of our early design partners. So here we have our hybrid query engine in the middle, which uh, acts as an interface between the AI-driven applications on the right-hand side and the knowledge store of the company data on the left-hand side. So what it does is uh, it effectively uh, take incoming queries, uh, subdivide them into manageable subqueries, and route them to uh, dedicated specialized data retrieval and processing systems. So, for instance, a query that requires calculating some metrics from a CRM would be uh, handled by uh, a tabular data engine, while uh, queries that require some semantic context uh, would be routed to a vector embedding similarity search and so on. Uh, in all of these cases, however, the underlying metadata would be supplied by the company graph. And the company graph is uh, the sort of backbone of this query engine, and it provides three key capabilities. So first, it's an opinionated yet flexible data model that we provide ourselves, and it's based on factual registry data about companies. Second, it's, uh, it enables us to resolve and link the various entities across different source systems of the customer. And it acts as a metadata store of all the company data. So all of this together uh, enable us, enables us to streamline data retrieval. And what this leads to next is automation. Uh, so for that purpose, we're also building a task management engine which interacts with the customer applications and enables them to effectively act on the analysis process. So the types of processes that we're currently working on are backtesting and parameter optimization. And Matt will uh, guide you through a specific use case that we're currently working on with one of our design partners. Test, test. Oops. Uh, so we've built this analytics API for one of our B2B FinTech uh, design partners. They're a lending CRM. 
who want to embed analytics capabilities as well as automation capabilities in their platform. Uh, the screen you're seeing is an internal development tool we use to interact with the API. As anyone who's working with these things know, they can be unpredictable and even spiteful. Um, but yeah, that was a necessary thing for us to work on. Um, this shows the company graph that Vlad mentioned. It's, uh, over, it's our customers' lending data uh, with uh, overlaid on our com company graph, where red and green represent rejected and accepted company loans, and the small gray nodes are directors. It also resolves entities across the vector document and structured data stores. Uh, the point of this demo is to illustrate some of the capabilities, but we've uh, grounded it in this uh, lending scenario just to give the uh, voice of the user. So the stakeholder is tracking their loan acceptance rate. Uh, it's a time series that sits in their CRM, but it is accessed by our company graph overlay. The query engine routes to the relevant data sources. They see an alert that the rate is dipped uh, below their threshold. Uh, this is something that they obviously want to investigate um, and maybe even understand a bit about how their business operates, some of the drivers of, of their processes. Uh, they discover that one of the drivers of the dip is a large proportion of the recent applicants are newly formed companies, so they investigate what, what's going on there. This query is quite interesting. Uh, the user is checking for uh, uh, portfolio sector concentration. The hybrid in, uh, query engine subdivides it into two subqueries. It passes hotel industry, and it, uh, this requires semantic understanding, so the uh, engine routes it to the vector embedding. This is then used as an input filter to the top query. Uh, in the next query, uh, we leverage the graph structure itself to chain together a sequence of um, queries to surface suspicious ownership patterns. Uh, uh, rejected companies having common directorships. We see the name Culton pop up a few times. And this is something to investigate. Uh, the user runs a query to have a look at the uh, evolution of this Culton directorship and sees that emerging over time is something of a suspicious pattern where they have short-lived directorships across multiple companies occurring at the second and third time period where the dark gray edges disappear. To be conservative, these are considered uh, or excluded from the lending parameters. So at this point, the user would assign the task management engine to comprehensively backtest these new parameters and then update them in the underlying system. So taking a step back, what we've enabled is assessing the risk of uh, lending to these new companies, creating new risk filters on the fly, and then critically observing the potential for uh, changes to, by uh, the impact of changes by changing these filters. The opportunity for us is to uh, automate as much of this process as possible to enable it at scale. So LLM opportunity in FinTech. Uh, we think it's fair to say that while many want to use LLMs, uh, most are still discovering where they uh, might be of highest value. Uh, we think that uh, opportunity is uh, and value is going to quickly accrue um, where if this, then that systems, uh, so prominent in finance, get coupled with LLM capabilities. There's a large market in CRM and RPA automation. Um, the uh, industries that fall short in automating any real complexity uh, with the thousands of rules, uh, all needing to be rewritten for any business process change. Critically, the most important parts of these systems are the human judgment, which is lacking, and we think that's the opportunity with LLMs. And then to us, what is exciting about this is bringing together the domains of analytics and automation. Uh, we think that's due an evolution in the way these relatively distinct uh, business components uh, are brought together to enable better outcomes for the business. So wrapping up where we are today, we raised our pre-seed, we have an 18 months runway, we're hiring engineers and building our product, we have paid design partnerships and a pipeline of early customers, most in the UK, with some in the US. We're looking for, it's a call to action moment, looking for further design partners in fintech and to partner up with the US fund as part of our pre-seed as we have every ambition to expand into the US market as we grow. You can please chat to us if interested, Reach us via email or LinkedIn through this barcode and thank you all very much.